All right, everyone, today we are learning how to set up screen time. Go to settings. It's the cog gear right there in the top right of my home screen. Uh, in settings, you're gonna see what you're logged in as. You can see I'm Nathan Sutherland. That is my Apple ID login. I'm in a family plan with Anna. Uh, and down towards the bottom, you're going to see screen time. Click on that. Now screen time, if you don't even know what screen time is, check it out. You need to set up screen time. And what it allows you to do is, first of all, it lets you see your activity. You can see at the top, I average an hour and 40 minutes on my phone uh, each day this week. That's been 15% less than the previous week. And you can dig into what those are. So if you were to click on that, it'll show you like, well, I've been in settings doing <laughs> tutorials for 27 minutes uh, and photos. And that's today. And you could go back to yesterday. And what was it? It was messages and Audible and Marco Polo. So this is a great way to just assess how are we doing with our technology use. And then you get down to limiting use. This is where screen time comes in. I can lock in downtime. That's what time of day can certain apps be used. This could be for my device or for a device I set up for a child. Say I've got a 15 year old who's earned a smartphone. We did the trainer phone and now we're ready for more apps. We chose an iPhone. Downtime is going to help us. App limits, set limits for apps. Like you can use 30 minutes of this particular app and then it you can send a request to me but it's going to shut you out you're going to be done with that uh always allowed these are apps that you just want to make sure even when screen time is on everything is locked in and uh screen distance reducing eye strain so it's an app to help you basically make good choices uh with your eyeballs communication limits uh these can be locked in saying communication limits, allowed communication, everyone during screen time or contacts only or contacts in groups with at least one contact. So you can basically set custom groups and say, hey, during our screen time limit time, this is who you can contact. Uh, during your downtime, when I select downtime, right now it's set to everyone, but you could say, hey, only specific, you can only call mom and dad or aunt or uncle or whatever, our friends who give you a ride. Uh, during your school day, like I'm gonna give you some contacts, but this is gonna be locked down. So. The next one down, communication safety is amazing. This is iOS 17. You want to activate communication safety. It says it can detect nude photos and videos before they're sent or before they're viewed. They'll show up blurred. You can get a notification if you're setting up your child's uh, resources and improve communication safety, which is sharing analytics and data. The middle piece, view child safety resources, will take you to Thorn, uh, which is a great resource for basically some talking points on smartphones. It's actually a lot of stuff. If you listen to Gospel Tech Resources, it's you, you'll recognize it, but uh, it's solid. I appreciate that it's there. I kind of wish it was a little more central to this conversation, but just know it's there. And then the last and final one we're gonna do before locking the screen in is contact and privacy restrictions. Turn it on, that's the toggle at the top. And then you can say, hey, we're not going to allow installing apps, in-app purchases, uh, and it's always gonna require the password. That's the settings. I encourage you, that means when my kids get on my phone, they cannot go to the app store. In fact, it won't even have an app store. Uh, and they can't, if they were to find some backdoor by searching for a specific app in the search feature, or if they were to find a website where it said download it now on your phone, it will not allow them because it'll push them to the app store. It will not find the app store and then the it'll just time out. So uh, allowed apps is going to be, uh, or excuse me, uh, don't allowing is what I was trying to say. Installing apps is important. Deleting apps, okay. Uh, you might want to remove that depending on the age of your child so they don't actually delete something very important to you. Uh, allowed apps allows you to go through and say, hey, what apps are going to be available? You want to make sure Safari is allowed when screen time is kicked on because Safari is your browser. You have Covenant Eyes or some other accountability logged in on that. Both Bark and Covenant Eyes do a great job of uh, helping us be accountable. Covenant Eyes is porno pornography specific. Bark is uh, more general to the text and the searches and the conversations. It doesn't work within iPhone apps. It only works in the browser. So yes, your child can go communicate on Facebook or on Instagram or on TikTok or Snapchat, but they need to use the Safari browser, not the standalone app, if you want it to be accountable. Content restrictions, again, it's what it sounds like. Hey, it only is music marked as clean. Hey, it's only, uh, what would I say? It's only books that are marked as clean. Uh, you can go down to, hey, we're web content. We're going to limit, uh, we do not, you can do unrestricted, you could do allow uh, allowed websites where like we only let you go to these specific websites. That's another way to do it. Um, limited just means it's got filters in place and it will do a fairly good job. I wouldn't just trust that for your only line of defense with your children. It's not a tall enough wall. Kids are super smart and the internet is very tricky. So that's what, so what happens next, but you are welcome to go through that and change. Hey, I don't want location services on, etc. Then you come back. Now what we have done, we remember we're under screen time. 
We have the screen time feature at the top. We have all these other functions. And then at the bottom, lock screen time settings. Click it, enter a password, confirm your password, and then you get a great reminder. Please use this. I'm not gonna do it right now. I would just enter my uh, Apple ID. It'll make sure that it knows who I am. It will confirm that I actually want to skip it. Uh, and now it is locked in. So if I go back to my home screen, which you will notice I clicked back there, do get back to this main setting. If I go back to my home screen, you will notice the app store is now missing. Uh, screen time is locked in. Uh, you cannot add new apps to this. This is all my young people would have access to. And uh, we'll actually show you guided access next because it's awesome. But that is how you set up screen time settings. You can allow uh, times of day, particular apps, certain contacts. And that is the family safety features that are currently on the iPhone.